Good afternoon, good morning to all our listeners at home. It's 12 o'clock, so we're in, we in the middle of morning, <laughs> and the afternoon in the morning. Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. This is your boy, Mr. Loverman, and I'm chilling with Pastor. I think I must greet you as well. Good morning, afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> what a chilly evening. <laughs> what a chilly afternoon on Amen. the mountain. It is cold, Amen. but praise God for the rain. What a rainstorm we had here in uh, Joe South last night. Yes. And we are so grateful the season has, has come, arrived, the raining season. Yes. And we're looking forward to the new life we have in Christ. Grass is going to get green again. The flowers are, are blooming, the trees, you know. It's yeah. just life. It's just life. You know, uh, where I stay now, right about half past four in the mornings, you can hear the first bird mm. chirping. And it's always this one, I don't know what type of bird it is, but always like 20 past four, half past four, this is the first bird echoing the new day. Wow. And then right about five, you can just hold the whole choirs on the backyard and in the trees and like hunting on there. But I'm telling you, let's listen. God is going to speak to us. Amen. God wants you to listen to Him. Yes. This is a new season. This is a new time. It's a time of Esther. You've been created for a time like this. Because God knows what you have to give to this nation of South Africa and your family and your friends. So let's just worship the Lord and let's soften our hearts in His mighty presence. God bless you. Tema, thank you. Bow down and worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. Worship. of Him, bow down and worship Him, let's bow down and worship Him, let's worship Him, oh, worship Him, His Jesus. Jesus, the King of Kings, His Jesus, the King of Kings, let's worship Him, oh, worship Him, for His Jesus, the King of Kings. The King of Kings, let's worship Him. Oh, worship Him. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, His own.
Father, we bow before your throne. You are holy, oh, so holy. You are holy, oh, so holy. Yeah, Jesus, Father, you are holy, oh, so holy. Yes, you are holy, oh. So holy, what a privilege and honor to worship at your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. What a privilege and honor to worship at your throne. And to be called into your presence as your own. You are righteous, oh, so righteous, oh, Jesus. Father, you are righteous, oh, so righteous. You are righteous. Lord, what a privilege and honor to worship at your throne and to be called into your presence as your own. You are holy, oh, so holy. You are holy. wonderful oh so wonderful gee you are righteous oh so righteous lord you are beautiful lord oh so beautiful jesus and you are holy god You are faithful, just say it. Oh, so faithful. I want somebody just to declare that he's faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. Say from the bottom of your heart. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. Let's say it again. He's faithful. You are faithful. Jesus, oh. So faithful, you are faithful, you are faithful. Oh, so faithful, and you are holy, you are holy, Jesus. Oh, so holy, you are holy, you are holy. You are holy, you are holy, oh 
Father, fill us once more with your presence, with your spirit. Renew our minds, Lord. We surrender all to you, mighty Father, so that, Father, you can have your way in us, Lord God. Not our will, Lord, not our will, but your will, Heavenly Father. We pray in Jesus' name. Lord, our hearts are ready to receive your word. Speak to us, O God. I just want to share this yes. scripture with you, Acts 17, and I just want to say about Tuesday what happened was we just had a power outage, yes. so please forgive us while we're still in the presence of the Lord, was just like cut off, and uh, we were quite shocked this, this side, but today it seems like we can press forth. Actually, what, what happened, Pastor, sorry to cut you, when the electricity went off, we, we, were, we were still connected in the spirit, <laughs> all right, <laughs> so there was only a, a power uh, outage here at church, in but in the spirit we were still connected. We were connected. <laughs> we, we just kept on worshiping God. Amen. So let me just read the scripture to you. Acts 17. God, who made the world and everything in it, since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. And he has made from one blood every nation of man to dwell on all the face of the earth. And he has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. For God who made the world and everything in it, since He is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made by hand. I want to tell you, God is within you. 
And this verse, in verse 26 says that God has place, predestined beforehand, before time, yes. the purpose of man on this earth and the boundaries of his dwellings. Amen. You know what's on my heart, family? Have you ever asked the question, why was I born now? Why wasn't I born in Australia? or New Zealand, or Hawaii, or Mauritius. Why in South Africa, why in this time of COVID, this time of, of lockdowns, and this time of really a tough time on us, why? The answer is God has predestined it. There's something inside of you that God placed that this season in life needs. You know, flowers need the sun and water. And I can tell you, if you read the scripture and it, and, it, and it falls into your heart, Emma, although it's tough and you say, why, Lord? And can't it be different, Lord? You must know God has predestined you. God has purposed you Amen. for a time like this because what He has placed inside of you, this dark season needs the light that's inside of you. Hallelujah. The dark season needs the gifting the character, the nature that's inside of you. Let me read that again to you. The Bible says, God says, He has made from one blood every nation. That's why the only difference between me and Tema is our skin. We have the same blood. Amen. We share the same Father. Yes. Our Heavenly Father. Amen. That's all, family. Amen. That's all. But listen further. All the faces of the earth and He has determined their pre-appointed times and the, down, and the boundaries of their dwellings. The pre-appointed times. It's like Esther. Esther was in a time, but she doesn't re didn't recognize the time. And I see Christians in this time, but they don't recognize the time. It's a time of opportunity. Wow. If it wasn't a time, Esther wouldn't have become queen. Whoa. You need a time Amen. to become king. Wow. You need a time to become queen, to rule. And I want to tell you that God has predestined us in this dark season to be light, to share the good news. You know, when Esther, Mordecai said to Esther, you were born for a time like this, she didn't understand it. And she needed to fast to open the doors, to see how she has access to the king and the favor of the king to save a Jewish nation. I want to tell you, you're a pre-appointed time in this dark space. If you're going to pray and fast, God will activate that redemptive gift inside of you that you will save. Man, I'm excited about the new South Africa. The South Africa that has been born in this dark season of COVID. Oh, I actually want to say this, Timo. It's like, I believe there's a new breed of Christians. Yes. That's coming forth. Yes. Amen. Determined. Amen. Full of the Holy Spirit. Yes. As bold as a lion. The Bible says the righteous is as bold as a lion. Therefore the Son now will preach on the power of righteousness. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to tell The Bible says the wicked flee and no one chases yes. them. <laughs> That's why I'm not a jogger. It's not biblical to be a jogger. Don't run when no one chases you. But be as bold as a lion. I just want to encourage you. Maybe you're listening to me right now and you ask all these questions. Why now? Why me? Why this season? Why this time? Because the Bible says it's pre-appointed. You were born for a time like this because there's someone behind you that needs your breakthrough. If you can push through like Esther, she pushed through into the king's chambers, found favor to save a nation. I want to tell you, if you push through this dark season, man, the light behind you is going to cause a great revival in this nation i still believe i still confess every day the church has not seen the revival god has planned for us man people will come north south east and west to worship together because god will start working in their hearts so find courage this morning in this dark space remember esther needed a dark season to become queen you need a dark season to rise above. To get to know God in the dimension of the fullness of His name. 
God bless you. Let's continue our worship with the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Yes, we worship you Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us, Lord, about our purpose. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that your plans, Lord God, it's not to harm us, God. Mm -hmm. Definitely, Lord God, we thank you. Your plans, Lord God, is to lead us, my Father. Yes. Hallelujah. In the paths of righteousness, for your name's sake. For your name's sake, oh Lord, for your name's sake, for your name's sake, Lord God. Mando go pra legi ba ye kasoto la ba ye. Father, we worship you. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before. We bow before your throne. We bless your name. Oh, mighty God, we bow. We bow before your Say it again. We bless, we bless your name. Oh, mighty God. from home. So I want you to share Holy Communion of us this morning. Amen. You know, Paul said in the night that Jesus was betrayed, that Jesus took the bread and broke it. He broke the bread and he poured the wine. As a symbol, it is still in control. Yes, yes. You might have a disease this morning in your body. It might be a spirit of, of infirmity. But can I say, when you take this by faith, this is just a symbol. But the Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus, you're healed. So by faith this morning, when you take this, let healing manifest in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus.
which gives me strength from day to That speaks of redemption. Jesus paid a price in full. Debt is settled. No outstanding requirements needed because what Jesus did on the cross. May you experience the power and the liberty of the total forgiveness that you've been received in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. It will It will never lose its power, the blood of Jesus. It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power in your life. It will never. It will never lose its power. Well, God bless you. May God's favor shine upon you. May God ex- go for you and yes. behind you. May you experience this, the provision of the Lord, family. Man, you know, you cannot hide God's blessing. Amen. It's like the rain that the, the, the grass was dry and the rain came and all of a sudden there's just green sprouts everywhere. Amen. You cannot hide the blessings of God. Yes. I'm telling you, His favor is upon you. David says, only goodness mm. and mercies hey. will follow me all the days hey. of my life. Not troubles, hey. not situations, only goodness and mercies all the moment. But God bless you and we see you on Sunday, half past nine, Baseline Family Church platform, Facebook and YouTube if I haven't corrected it. Amen. Yes, Amen. <laughs> God bye. God bless. I'm going to take you to Africa. It says, oh goodness and mercy shall follow me. shall follow me surely goodness and mercy shall follow me goodness and mercy shall follow surely surely goodness and mercy shall follow